Next up at UFC Vegas 67, Mateus Rebecki and Nick Fiora. Uh, this line is massive. We have a minus 650, opened up around minus 450 for Rebecki. I don't really have anything to say about this one at all. You know, there's just like, there's really no UFC experience here. Um, not a ton of good film to draw from. I like to be able to draw from the data of the UFC stats and everything too, and know, you know, the competition they're fighting so I can kind of compare it. Um, so I'm like basically just drawing a blank here. Mace, what do you got? Uh, yeah, I think this line is super fair. Honestly, Rebecca, good fighter, 16 and one only loss coming back in 2014 where, uh, Nick Fior, 6-0. His first two pro fights were against Jay Ellis, seven months apart, where he choked him out because it's Jay Ellis. <laughs> and then his other four opponents have a record of 3-12, and 9-5, and 15-14, and 14, and 6-20. and 20. So he's just fought absolutely nobody ever, all in quick first-round finishes seen really nothing from him to trust him or know anything about him no clue about his cardio where Rebecca we've seen go farther he does have a lot of earlier finishes too but he's had a five round fight in his career that he won uh his only UFC experience that Dana White contender series fight I think he looked good enough right off the bat he ate a head kick clean and flush didn't even fall just ate it, kept going forward, ripped him right down to the ground, uh, and then rear naked choked him without his hooks in, inside control. He just had such a tight squeeze that uh, it was over. So I think Rebecca steamrolls Fiore here. Uh, I'm going to look for inside the distance numbers when they come out. But yeah, Rebecca anyway wants. Really? So good parlay piece as well then. I might have to look back into that one, but as of now, I don't really have any opinion. 